Biden, West Virginia Senator and member of the Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee, Shelley Moore Capito. She is also the leader of the GOP's infrastructure counteroffer. Senator, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. You've spoken personally with President Biden. I've read your office's readout and the White House's version. Is it your sense he really wants Republican support? Well, certainly that was the substance of the conversation that I had with the president on Thursday. He said, let's start to narrow down uh, where we where we really think infrastructure is, where you think it is, and then how that interplays with what, where, what I would like to see on physical or core infrastructure. Let's see uh, what kind of programming that is. Let's talk about pay-fors. Let's get serious about really trying to reach a negotiated uh, infrastructure package. And I'm very encouraged by this. Uh, I've talked to a lot of my colleagues and certainly constantly talking with White House and, and others. And I just feel like there's a real uh, desire and will for us to work together on something we've traditionally worked together on through many, many years. Let me follow up on that. So the Republican yeah. counter offers $568 billion right. over five years or so. The White House plans at $2.2 trillion. Is there a sweet spot in there that could be appealing to both sides? Well, what I think you have to do is look at the president's plan at $2.2 trillion, has a lot of social infrastructure, human infrastructure, and other things that, that I don't think if you ask, uh, ask somebody on the street here in, in West Virginia, what does infrastructure mean to you? It doesn't meet that definition. Infrastructure, we're talking physical road bridges, ports, waterways, uh, broadband, um, you know, and, and those types of of uh, really job creating infrastructure projects that we need to modernize our transportation and other systems. Uh, I, I, we're, we're working with the White House and I think it's been very open door. We've been very uh, encouraged to keep moving forward. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. And until somebody tells me and that uh, it's not working anymore, I'm going to try to reach that that sweet spot that we're looking for to be able to work together to get a bill across the table. Well, and you're known for that, rolling up your sleeves and sitting down Thanks. and trying to hammer out a deal. Um, one big obstacle is potential pay for. They would like to raise the corporate tax rate from 21 percent to 28 percent. How do you bridge that gap? Well, I think it's important to note that the Republican plan that, that I put forward with a lot of other uh, ranking members of committees uh, does not have a tax increase in there. We think we can pay for this with uh, expanded user fees. That would be people who are now not even paying into the use of the highways like electric vehicles and others. Uh, we think that uh, repurposing some of the COVID, particularly the city state dollars, where they can now not use that for hard infrastructure except for water infrastructure, uh, we should be able to uh, open up that window for them, which will make our dollars go farther. I think that there's a lot of creative solutions out there that don't involve raising taxes. I personally don't want to see the taxes go up. I think that's a wrong time to be doing that. And I don't think if we really concentrate on what we want to get done in terms of infrastructure, I don't think it's necessary. And that and that would be very difficult to get a core member of our Republican caucus to go along with that if that was the direction uh, that the president insisted upon. Now, the president would like to spend another $1.8 trillion on education and safety net type programs. Is it your sense he's willing to go it alone on that? Or is there some way to get Republicans on board with at least part of that proposal? Well, I, I'm sure the conversations will continue, but I think there's a realization that is trillions and trillions of dollars of programs that we really haven't fully talked about here in the Congress. So, you know, do we want to go with, you know, two years of free community college or preschool? Uh, wh what is our appetite for uh, paid family leave? All these kinds of, I think, you know, valuable discussions, but we haven't had them. I think they that the president will try to go his own way with mm -hmm. the Democrat caucus through reconciliation. Okay. I think that's a tall order for him. Uh, but uh, I get a sense that that's the direction that they'll probably end up going. Senator Shelley Moore Capito, the great state of West Virginia. Senator, thanks so much for your time. All right. Thank you.